All right, now we're here with boat number two of the day. We're gonna show you this absolutely dusty, but actually in really good shape, 2007 Maxim 2300 SR3 Bow Rack. But first, I'd like to introduce our channel. I've been passionately selling boats for over 19 years. The purpose of this channel is to help you and your family enjoy boats and boating just as much as my family and I enjoy it. So thanks to the help of my staff, Hi, Brady. Hi, Mason. We've been able to successfully upload hundreds of boat reviews, construction and operation, help, and how-to videos. I don't ask for anything in return, except for the opportunity to possibly help you find a boat in your home. So to stay up on everything we upload, click that subscribe button below and stay tuned. Nice. Okay, so we kind of mentioned in the last video how pretty much everything that we've listed boat-wise, bought to sell or brokered, as sold within 48 hours if it's marketable. Like an open bow, definitely tri-tunes and cruisers with generators, and our boat trailer business is just running frantic. So I'm happy that we're able to list four boats today, and I decided, you know what, we're just going to stop make videos of all these to show them so we can get some more content out there. But that being said, speaking of content, thanks so much for watching. If you have any ideas or questions, um, maybe there's a video you'd like to see from an instructional standpoint down in the comments below, please leave a comment and tell us what you'd like to see. And we'll do our best to try to do that, you know, if the weather allows. Um, that being said, let's move forward and see how much room there is inside the boat. See, Tess is when I get in the boat and show you how much room there is for your friends and family's butts. At the captain's chairs, we have one and two. Port side aft three, four, like in my last several videos, I've messed up on the count, I'm so sorry. Five, filler seat six, you might be able to do seven actually. Let's just call it six though, even though you could probably do seven. Six, seven, eight, and so that you're not knocking these, we'll call it nine, 10, possibly 11 if you filled that seat in. The boat is rated for 11 people. Uh, if you're interested to know how boat capacity ratings are given by manufacturers, I always include a bunch of links in the description of our videos down below. So right out below the screen, there's a little drop down, kind of weird upside down triangle. Hit that, it opens up like an explanation, a price, you know, how to dock a video to how to dock boats, tie ropes, how marine financing works, how you should insurance, insure it, et cetera. Just a bunch of stuff to help you. Well, I'm done running my mouth. Let's look at the gel coat. Wow, this is a nice boat. All right, coming around to the starboard side. So we drop down whole side, starboard side. We have a Bravo 3 drive. Easy maneuver. It's got a skag guard on it. Dual prop, counter-rotating propellers. Extended swim platform that covers the kids from jumping on to them propellers. This has the stainless steel rubber rail on it. Now this boat, uh, the customers just bought the lake house, got the boat out of storage, and we're very disappointed to see like how many bugs were out here on the dock. So they just called to have that treated. Uh, the gel coat's in great shape. There is a lot of dead bugs on it, so it's kind of misleading. However, this is a boat that I would really up, definitely um, recommend to, during the detail process, remove these graphics here, polish out the boat. That'd make the outside look brand new. We do it to both sides. There's a couple slight scratches on the port side that should be able to wet sand right out clean. But the hole's in great shape. Your stem's beautiful, keel. They gotta, you really gotta wash it when you're going walking around here on this one, boys and girls. So coming up, you got some light scuffs at the stem, but everything underneath looks beautiful. You got a bow boarding ladder with an anchor locker. So it's a navy blue color. And as you can see, it's got a good shine to it. Once again, these graphics come off and then these fine little scratches should just be able to get wet sanded because they're really barely nothing. You got pop out cleats right here. It's got a cockpit bimini top, not a convertible. Coming around port side, whole side. Boom, Bravo 3 drive once again. Got a little rear facing seat. You also in this model, one thing I really like is a big old trunk. You can put a bunch of junk in your trunk. Let's check that out. Hey dad, that's a cool whip. I'm standing back here on the big swim platform and I told you there's a bunch of room in the back. You can put some junk in your trunk. Look how big this is. This seat right here, if you're sitting, putting your bindings on to go skiing, kneeboarding, wakeboarding, tubing, not on a day like this, because you will die, because it is freezing cold. Unless you have a wetsuit on, or something that are way bigger than mine. A little transom shower back there, I'm talking about buoys. 
Just kidding. So you have a starboard side walkthrough transom so you don't step on cushions except these throw cushions are here because they want to keep the bugs out of the boat. All right here, this door shuts. We have a seat somewhere that fills in this to make a pure big old L-shaped seating. We have a maintainer on the battery. The vinyl's in great shape of this boat. I've seen a couple little tiny nicks that can be Dr. Vinyl, uh, vinyl repair just at the bottom of a seat. And that's really all there is. Sarge? Scared me. Sorry, I thought the dog fell in the water. He didn't, he ran and jumped in right over there. So anyways, moving on. So right here, maintaining the starboard side, we have a cooler right here, comes with the boat. I always say, even though the boat's dirty because it's dead of winter, I always say people that take care of the boat take care of all the stuff in the boat. So like this boat's not missing anything, it would have had new. Cooler, bow filler cushions, covers, the bimini top, all that stuff's here. Fire extinguisher, all the carpet snaps out, it's a full fiberglass liner. Coming up, we got the little sink, you know, flip up bolster seats so we can sit up high when we drive so everybody can see how cool we are. You got little storage right here, secret spot where you can keep secret stuff. There's two cup holders. If your wife complains or your husband complains and you're the driver, because I'm not a sexist boat salesman, I don't give a dad gum who drives a boat. I'm just saying you can hide your stuff in there. You have nice dash panels. All your gauges look good. Upgraded stereo system. Nice thick heavy windshield frame, which is a good sign of quality, but take one step back, Mason. Right here, we have ski storage. You can put a bunch of crap in there. Great big, long, obnoxious things into the floor. These cushions right here fill in the bow to make this a big bed. It's a really cool feature. You got plates for that too. This is wind block door. When I don't put stuff in the way, you can block the wind. But in here, you've got a little curtain. Uh, there's a aft filler cushion. Looks like you got some more cushions that must make that like a L-shaped seating and a, some kind of additional sunbed. We have an amp for the stereo that looks new. Coming up into the bow, it's relatively deep. This is a good style because as tall as this is, you can actually put beer bottles in the cup holders. Might not be important to you. I'm just saying that's kind of rare in the gunnels of a boat. Uh, you have deep storage compartments underneath the seats and soft fiberglass. Typically the new design is they want to keep the Grab rails below the shear line, which is the outside edge of the boat top side. Well, the problem with that is you usually have just one little dinky handle here. So if you have a lot of kids like I do, because I like to breed, there's only one spot for them to hold on. But with this, you can put a bunch of kids up here. Woohoo! go faster, daddy. Right up here in the bow above the stem. Once again, pop out cleats, bow boarding ladder with anchor storage beneath it. You have an additional storage compartment right underneath Mason in here. And it is nasty in there, so we are not going to open that one. Police are here, I think. We have permission. Jesus. Right in here is a little spot for a porta potty. Oh, I didn't look in there. That's the cleanest part of the boat right now. So we also have, looks like, quite a bit of pieces to make an enclosure. So I'd say at least, from what I see, eyebrow side curtains to make this like a pop-up camper. Uh, would have been great for a day like this, but it's too late now. So we got a table, porta potty. Doesn't look like it's been used much in there. Doesn't even look like they knew this thing opens if there weren't some stuff in there. Uh, coming around, you got three cup holders for the co-pilot, which is definitely a bonus if you really want to get smashed and just make a complete embarrassment out of yourself, which I'm pretty good at sometimes. Uh, right there is where you it would go. You got lights in here, six by nine speakers, bunch of storage back here. I put stuff in here. This was all over the boat, fully fiberglass lined. This comes all the way out. This boat's got really thick vinyl, I want to tell you too. Like if you pinch it, it's thick. It's really good stuff. Should hold up extremely well. Into the motor compartment to finish up the video. We have a 350 mag MPI. That's a 300 horsepower Mer Cruiser. That with the Bravo 3 drive makes this extremely popular it'll perform extremely well easy to start how many times do you think i can say extremely we got another extremely awesome feature which is dual batteries with a switch that'll extremely um help your boating experience if you're out there on the water so if you're out there coved out you know listen to the radio you have it to one then you go to start it click 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 you're extremely pissed off you can switch it back to the other your family loves you and you're extremely not in trouble with your wife anymore okay that's pretty much it. We have right around 300 hours on this boat. There's an optional tandem axle trailer. We're going to list it for $24.9. Please check out our inventory at usedboatstv.com. That'll just redirect you to firstphasemarine.com. Our boat trailer business is Gladstone Co. Boat Trailer Sales.com. And our awesome boating products that we make in our shop is 
thebuttseatspray.com. Be sure to check out our new dock lines. I've spent 20 years designing those, and I've only sold probably 20. And that makes no sense because they're seriously awesome, but I haven't marketed them that high. And it's winter time, so. Anyhow, thanks so much for watching. We're going to cover this boat back up and go do our third video of the day. Just a good old boy.